So is this equation here, this reaction, Mg plus HCl gives us MgCl2 plus H2, is this a redox reaction? We use these rules here to assign oxidation numbers, and then we can figure out whether Mg plus HCl, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid, is a redox reaction. Let's give it a try. So free elements, these are elements of just one type of atom, like Na, Fe, H2, they have an oxidation number of zero. So just Mg, oxidation number zero. And here just H with this H2 by itself, zero. For hydrogen, when it's bonded to something here, if it's bonded to a nonmetal like chlorine, it's going to be plus one. And then chlorine, chlorine is going to be negative one with just a few exceptions. So negative one here, negative one here. And finally, magnesium, when it's bonded to another element, it's in group two. So it's going to be plus two. So these are the oxidation numbers. If you need help with oxidation numbers, jump over to my website here. There's lots of help with oxidation numbers and just redox reactions in general. All right. If we look at the equation here, magnesium went from zero to plus two. That number changed. Hydrogen went from plus one to zero. That changed. That actually got smaller. Plus one to zero is smaller. That was reduced. That means that the magnesium, this number, the oxidation number got larger. That was oxidized. So we lost electrons and we gained electrons. That's redox. The chlorine, negative one, negative one, it didn't change. So because we have reduction and oxidation, we do have a redox reaction. This is Dr. B looking at whether Mg plus HCl is a redox reaction. It is. Electrons are transferred and we have a change in oxidation numbers. Thanks for watching.